Hi, everybody. I'm Bob Miles, along with Hall of Fame coach John Mackler. We're here at Tiger Stadium on the campus of Southeast High School. And a coach we were here a week ago, and uh, we saw a thrilling finish as Southeast beat Lake Wales. And we think, no way they're going to top that. But uh, tonight they did. Southeast defeating Winter Haven 21 to 20 in double overtime and a very unlikely finish, a blocked extra point, sent Southeast to the third round of the playoffs. Yeah, all night long we've watched the Blue Devils having a tough time with their kicking game. Um, they missed a, uh, a field goal, they missed an extra point, and this one's blocked. Uh, you know, it's just been a tough, tough night for the kicker. Otherwise, the team did very well all night long. I mean, uh, we thought that uh, the Seminoles were basically going to walk away with this game the way they were starting, to, they started off in the first half. But then the uh, Blue Devils came back in the second half. They scored right away. They got points on the board, and then later they tied it up, and uh, we saw a terrific ending. Ryan Poole with uh, two touchdowns tonight for Southeast. Really, three consecutive touchdowns for the Noles when we scored last week on that big run to uh, give the uh, Noles a win against Lake Wales and two more touchdowns tonight. And uh, a game really dominated by the ground game for both teams. A very fast moving game played uh, in about two hours and five minutes before uh, we went to the overtimes. And then uh, the overtime sessions were very exciting. Uh, Southeast uh, scoring in their uh, overtime period. And then, uh, actually, the other team scoring in their overtime period. And then a missed field goal uh, by um, Southeast. But uh, then in the second overtime, Calvin Williams made a tremendous catch on a 10-yard touchdown pass. They made their extra point. And then uh, Callister made a nice 10-yard touchdown catch for uh, Winterhaven, but uh, the extra point was blocked, and uh, it was a tough night for the uh, Winterhaven kicker, Justin Short. He missed a field goal in the game and another extra point in the ball game. So very tough uh, night. Yeah, and, and, and when, you, when you miss that extra point in the game, uh, that, that puts you down one point right there. That's the point that you have to make up somewhere along the line. They tried to do it. Uh, when they scored a touchdown, they went for two points. They got it. At, at even the score at 14. Um, and so they kind of you know, gave them back what they missed. But then the block, uh, blocked um, extra point here at the overtime, second overtime. That's what hurt them. Yeah. Well, they always come back to get you, don't they? <laughs> but uh, another great win. Congratulations to uh, Paul Meckley. That is his 39th. A postseason victory in his long storied career. He's 39 and 21 all time in the playoffs, and uh, he will advance to the regional finals against either uh, South Fort Myers or Naples. Those two teams playing tonight. We don't have a final score as we tape our post game here, but uh, either way, it's a road game. But uh, they have a chance now, perhaps, to get back to the uh, district finals and maybe another championship. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, you said one game at a time. Uh, next week, they look at whoever they've got to play, they get on the field, and they play their game. If they win it, then they go to the next level. And it's just, uh, you know, you can only play one game at a time, especially in the playoffs. Great finish once again, and uh, for full coverage of all the uh, Manatee uh, action in high school football, please uh, go to the BraintonTimes.com website. But, uh, Coach, it's been fun. We had a good time. This, Love it. this, was, this was a lot of fun. Yeah. I learned a lot about high school ball. And, you know, from what I used to play high school ball, it's a lot different. It's a lot more exciting. So we've had a lot of fun this year. Final score once again from Tiger Stadium in Brandon, Florida. The Southeast Seminoles 21, the Winter Haven Blue Devils 20. For Hall of Fame coach John Mackler, I'm Doug Miles saying thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.